So Forest Bank Prison, I work there. Private prison run by Sodexo. Yeah. Back in the news this week, a prisoner was stabbed in the face. Superficial, it says. Um, very, very dangerous place. Let me explain to you two things firstly, why it's dangerous. And secondly, what will happen if it goes public sector, i.e. Sodexo lose their billion pound contract and it goes public becomes a public prison firstly they were awarded the contract in 1998 it's up in january 2025 25 year contract yeah the prison cost 55 million to build it was up in probably four months yeah i started working there 18 months two years after it had opened there uh, there's about here's the problem with private prisons that people never understand and they always say private prisons are crap and shite they bring a lot to the table they are quite inventive they've introduced a lot of really good quality things that they score points on quite definitely the problem with a private prison is it opens up with a tiny bit of experience i.e uh, maybe people from public sector governors they have the choice of governors they're going to offer a wage twice as much probably as a public sector number one governor the main man in the jail with a cracking pension so you might get a good governor we did they've had some good governors there and they've had some shite but they have some really good governors I worked under a couple Mike Goodwin was the first governor to open that prison what a tough cookie he was yeah so the problems there that they state in hooch Alcohol, making alcohol, drugs, drugs are rife. Super violent prison. So again, I worked at Salford, HMP Forest Bank, and I worked in Manchester at Strangeways Prison or HMP Manchester. Now, here's the thing you see. It's about your clientele. No shit, you say. But I'll explain further. When I was at Forest Bank, Depending where your crime was committed and what court you went to, you would either go to Forest Bank or Strange Ways. So the majority of people in Forest Bank were from Wigan and the like, predominantly white lads, Bolton, white lads, and then like Oldham were people from an ethnic background. The prison now is mixed. There's gang wars in there. Not specific gang, race wars. Lots of stabbings and slashing, super violent. No experienced staff. When it opened, it had very naive and inexperienced staff, but they had people, people with life experience. When I joined, there were some cracking staff there who'd opened the jail and struggled for two years, but it was established. It was a good place to work. I had good mentors. Short time I were there, a lot of them staff left. It becomes more difficult. They were continually recruiting and are recruiting now. My course, the course I was on was the most successful ever. 24 people on the course, five of them were lasses. Yeah. And after 12 months, 12 of that course were still working in the jail. That was successful. Four lads off our course finished in the first week, one of them the first day. He was an ex public sector screw prison officer for 25 years. Day one, when he realized he wasn't getting a stave or batten, he was gone. I saw him walking out. Fuck this, he said. No batten, he's gone. Yeah. Very, very tough place. Two of you on a wing. There's about 90 on them wings now. Always struggled, always short. Usually on your own with some youngster. Now, now the course, I know this for a fact because I have mates who still work there. Them courses that are started are mainly young lasses. People with no experience. My course, 24, five lasses. Now, 75% of the course are lasses. Male prison estate, you need male staff. So the reason that prison has always, always struggled is because it was a new prison. It opened with inexperienced staff and they're never going to get experience because they leave. They go elsewhere, like me. I went to a public sector prison, Strangeways, which was a million miles apart. 
Strange Ways was a holiday camp for me. It was so much better. There was stuff everywhere. Used to get peace at dinner time. It, for me, it was easy, really easy. I used to get ripped because I worked in a private sector prison. Yeah, half the staff, more than half the staff, I saw at Strange Ways. They want to last. They'd have lasted one day like the other lad. They wouldn't have done it. You're on your own. Yeah, it tests you every single day. You run on seat of your pants. You run on adrenaline. Big lad like me, you know, I could handle myself. Not like this. I can talk, communicate. If you can't communicate, you're completely fucked. Super dangerous place. So if it goes to the public sector and Sodexo lose their million pound contract, what do you think is going to happen? Any ideas? The staff will change uniforms. You might get one or two managers, maybe a new governor, that's it. You're not getting a whole new workforce. You know, experienced staff marching into the jail and taking over. No. Pretty much the same staff. Blakenhurst, I believe, was run by Sedexo as well. Yeah, Blakenhurst was private, public, private. It swapped a few times. Same staff, changing uniform, that's all. Inexperience, and you're never going to get that experience. Public sector prisons, nobody's talking about them now, are they? HMP Five Wells first inspection. Yeah? They're struggling. They're getting young staff, mostly young females, as prison officers in male jails. So no one is going to talk about the public sector jails that have opened recently, but they're talking about this one that opened 25 years ago. All prisons are dangerous now. Like I say, Forest Bank is dangerous because of the areas where people are coming from, different cultures, ethnic backgrounds. Boom! Gang wars. Black on white. Yeah, that's what's happening. Postcode lottery with prisons. Depending where you're from, where you are. There'll be some prisons that are all right. They've still got some experienced staff, but not many. Lads and lasses I know, good ones, who are still working in the job, will tell you it's tough everywhere. Short staff, continuous recruitment. Can't keep people. One in, one out. But way too many lasses. Way too many. No experience. Dangerous place. Dangerous job. I feel for the people in the job now. It was a tough gig at Forest Bank when I was there. Over 20 years ago. I hate to think what it's like now. It's been in special measures. Governors have been fired. Rife with drugs and violence. Slashings, stabbings, staff getting battered and abused. Shocking. I'm just going to leave it there, guys. If you'd like to become a channel member, link's in the description. Um, God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you there.